Good morning everyone and welcome back to Journey Across Japan, Escape to Paradise. And this morning we're at the most beautiful bay in all of Japan, Kabira Bay. Yeah. I've seen this bay so much on TV over the years. It's really famous for having the most beautiful turquoise seas, white sandy beaches, luscious islands. Because of all the boats, you're not actually allowed to swim in the bay. Uh, probably for the best, lest your shredded corpse taint the colour of the bay. Red blood over it. It would be, it would be nice, would it? It would be good. We wouldn't want that. No. It is, of course, Journey Across Japan, and we're joined by the great Natsuki. Hello! And Joseph. Not so great. Not so great. <laughs> what do you think of Ishigaki so far? We've only oh, been here a few hours. Really, really nice. The vegetation's insane here, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Nature Island. But today, I thought, Joey, you've done nothing in Okinawa. I've done nothing. You've done nothing on this trip so far. <laughs> so I let you choose something. Yes. Uh, what have you got lined up? Do you want to know now or do you want to know later? I want to know now. I don't think you should know now, because you might back out of it. <laughs> Doesn't sound very good. Uh, okay. I'll well, tell you later. I'll tell okay, you later. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, first challenge of the day is from Kupo, who says The islands of Okinawa are famous for their wildlife. Who can find the most interesting creature? I mean, I saw like a cow on the way here. Does that count? A <laughs> fish? Fish? Uh, there's definitely oh. fish in there. That's that's sure. Spider. That's one of the most unusual challenges. I think oh, we've ever had. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but let's go and explore Ishigaki. Let's go! Let's go! Almost 2,000 kilometers south of Tokyo and nestled between both Okinawa and neighboring Taiwan, Ishigaki is Japan's most populated southern island. In fact, it's just 50 kilometers from the most southern island of Hataruma. We've got just 48 hours to explore the island from diving in mysterious blue caves and tasting the local Okinawan ramen, to begrudgingly battling it out at sea with the impending arrival of Ryotaro tomorrow. That's right, it's the first time Natsuki and Ryotaro have appeared together in an Abroad in Japan episode. What could possibly go wrong? And while I've been looking forward to exploring the 160 kilometers of coastline around this majestic island paradise, Joey has something up his sleeve, some unfinished business that promises to wipe the smile off my face before our trip has barely even begun. The island of Ishigaki is not that big. You could probably drive around it in about an hour. Probably yeah. the best seen by bicycle, actually. We've seen a lot of cyclists yeah. uh, during the last few hours. I, I don't know, Chris. I think there's a better way of seeing Ishigaki. Uh... Yeah? Yeah. I'm thinking a little more open air experience. What do you want to do? <laughs> well, you rented a hot air balloon or something. No. Is this what you've done? Have you ever heard of parasailing? Um, parasailing? Parasailing. Good experience. Well, it's kind of like you're attached to a parachute, but you're being pulled by a boat out to sea, and you get shot up about 200 meters up into the air. Wow, well, very high. Are you having a laugh? <laughs> 200 meters? This is, a sh this is a shit idea. No, you get to see the beautiful view of Ishigaki and... I saw it out of the plane window <laughs> when we landed. Well, no, see, because, you know, after we went on the Cessna, right, across Sakurajima on Journey Across Japan 3, right, yeah. I feel like you didn't quite get over your fear of flying. So. I wonder why, Joey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, mate, we'll fly over the most active volcano in all of Japan. You'll get over your fear of flying. Oh, yeah. if, no, if you can get over the Cessna, you can get over a parasite. You are... Trust me. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I'm I'm actually going to kill you. <laughs> we're at Ishigaki Port and we're about to go parasailing. Oh, you excited? Look at the size of the boat, it's tiny. I don't know what I was expecting, but like, <laughs> is that it? That's is it. That this tiny little boat with yep. a little parachute. Yep. I wish I was excited, <laughs> but, but no, no, I'm not. <laughs> we're on the boat. We got our life jackets. I'm pretty nervous. Not gonna lie. It's just a boat with like some rope. There's like, look at this. Just loads of ropes everywhere. I, I don't know. It's something about loads of ropes <laughs> off the back of a boat and diving into the sea. It all feels a little bit odd. I've never I, done it before. Oh, we've cast off. We're away. Going to fly? We're gonna fly. Oh. Fly like an eagle. <laughs> we 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 are eagle. That's not. As we head out to sea and the parachute starts to be unraveled, it quickly becomes clear that I'm worryingly naive on the finer details of parasailing. I'm very nervous now. Oh! <laughs> but in the middle of the sea, I thought it was going to be like right by the coast, but we're actually uh, like a few kilometers out to sea. I wonder if the parachute ever gets tangled. Like, it's about to. <laughs> no, my bloody luck on this trip. The rope will snap, the parachute will shred off. Oh my God, 
Okay, all of a sudden I've just got very, very scared. <laughs> it's just a massive parachute off the back of a boat. Are you having a laugh? Before I have any chance to back out, we're hastily ushered to the back of the boat and strapped in for a cheerful pre-departure photo session. Oh, yay! Parachute safe. You're not nervous. I'm actually having great. You're a bastard. <laughs> Look at that rope. Looks like it's gonna snap. <laughs> now I don't know about you, but my image of parasailing is something like this: being tugged along just behind a boat, everybody having fun, and if anything were to go wrong, you could splash down harmlessly into the sea below. What I didn't know is that the parasail can go up to 200 meters high, the height of a skyscraper, and if something were to go wrong here, we'd be splashing down into our obituaries. Yeah. I, I don't enjoy this. I'm not enjoying this. I'm not enjoying this at all. I'm having to do breathing exercises to stop from having a panic attack. <laughs> oh my God. I think we're at the max height now. We're not at the max height. Yeah, we are. We're not at the max height. We're going 200 fucking meters high. Oh yeah, we are going higher. Yeah, we are going higher. <laughs> we are going higher. We are definitely going higher. I don't know, man. I thought the Cessna was way scarier than this. No, no, no. I look at look at the parachute. Look up, and you will feel terrified. <laughs> when you realise there's a bit of cloth holding us in the sky, <laughs> you will you will not want to look up again. <laughs> oh my god, you are a dickhead. <laughs> I hate you so much. If we get back down on solid ground, I'm going to beat you to death with a palm tree. <laughs> Bloody hate you so much. After the longest 10 minutes of my life spent praying the Finding Nemo parachute would keep us airborne, we're finally reeled back in for our landing upon the speeding boat. Originally, I was supposed to go up with Natsuki as well, but fleeing the scene, I let Joey go back up for a second time with him instead. No regrets whatsoever. Oh, okay, this is a little bit scarier. Oh. oh, shit. I'm quickly thankful as the wind picks up and Joey has a much more terrifying and turbulent flight the second time around. Oh, no. Poor Joey. What a shame. <laughs> <laughs> stop, stop moving. Nancy, stop moving, please. Stop moving. I wish I could say I enjoyed that, but the sheer terror of looking up and realising we were held up 200 metres in the sky with a little bit of fabric and a dodgy rope. I could see it going like this in the wind. I was gonna go, originally go twice, once yeah. with Joe, once with Natsuki. But after, after I came back down, I was like, no, no, no. She started strapping me in again. She was like, are you ready? I was like, no, <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> Round two. What's 10? 10. Oh, yeah, that was a 10 for me. I really yeah. enjoyed that. Again. No. Yeah, we should do that again. Oh, this again. time, all three of us need to go. More scary. No, 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 no. <laughs> all right, now we've done that, we can go and get some lunch. Because oh. I won't throw yeah. it back up. Bloody That's hell. Bad. Having nearly had a heart attack over the seas of Ishigaki, it's time for some much needed lunch. And back on the road, it's not long before we find a shop serving up a delicious bowl of Okinawan style ramen. This is the most visually appealing ramen I've ever seen. It's called Yoyama Soba, and it's only available here in Ishigaki. Mm -hmm. uh, beautiful yellow noodles, lots of pork. What's so special about it, Joey? Well, well for one, it's only made around Ishigaki and the neighboring islands. So mm. there's a place called Yayama, which is like a mountain here in Ishigaki. And they take a lot of the like uh, ingredients from that area. Um, and also, I think the yellow color is very distinct to mm. Yayama Soba. I think they use a lot of ginger in the broth, which gives it that kind of yellowish color. And people around here live at the highest life expectancies on the planet, don't they, in the Okinawan Islands? Yes, they do, yeah. There's a thing... Uh, More than know, Australia? Yeah, it, it, all of Japan. Oh, Australia's, I think, third. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Oh. Honestly, well, I don't want to know where the UK is. <coughs> but anyway. they have a thing here uh, called chomeso, which literally means long life cross. Mm. Um, and they say that if you have one bundle of it, then you live one day longer. I think okay. I'm going to need a lot of bundles. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying after this trip. <laughs> Good pork. Good pork. Pork mm. taste. How's the soup? Let's mm. try the soup. Just thank you. A little only oily. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh my God, that's mm. good. This alone is a good reason to come to Ishigaki. Definitely. 
During our first day around Ishigaki, we've been coming face to face with these colourful wacky creatures around the island, on rooftops or front gates of homes called Shisa. They're a traditional Ryukyu mythological creature derived from Chinese guardian lions and said to ward off evil spirits. At the somewhat psychedelic Shisa Park, you can witness around 100 Shisa statues, skillfully crafted by the locals. And it's not long before we see a passing resemblance to ourselves in some of the characters that we meet along the way. I think we found the one that looks like Natsuki. He's literally eating money, just like Natsuki. <laughs> yeah, just me. Give it to me. <laughs> one yen. <laughs> wow, good way to get rid of your change. No, 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 I, I'm paper. Paper type money. Paper money, oh yeah. Hmm. Thank you so much. <laughs> Give it here. Get back in. Shit. Well, unsurprisingly, because we've spent most of the day in the air, 200 meters in the sky, having a stroke and a heart attack at the same time. Oh, so fun. Oh, we haven't seen many animals. I didn't see any birds up there. So, when I was looking up Ishigaki, I found this place called the Blue Cave. Whoa, nice. Blue Cave. Blue Cave. Nice. But it looks really stunning. It's famous for having lots of like wildlife, fish, insects, animals. Oh, okay. That's as good a place as any to try. Yeah, good start. Uh, the sad truth about much of Japan's coastline is that it's been buried in concrete, an estimated 55% of it. What started out as a means of protecting coastal towns from erosion and tsunamis led to decades of out-of-control infrastructure spending that meant naturally occurring untouched beaches can be pretty hard to find. Thankfully, Ishigaki is one of the few places in the country where the rugged coastline has been left practically unspoiled. And locations such as the Blue Cave have been left unaltered, with some seriously adventurous Treasure Island vibes going on. Particularly as to get to the cave, we first need to swim out to sea. I'm starting to think we should have called this journey across Japan Treasure Island. Yeah. <laughs> it does feel like <laughs> Robinson Crusoe or something. Look at this. I hear a lot of wildlife, not seeing a lot of it though. Wow! Secret beach! So it, it definitely looks like a place that Robinson Crusoe would just like wash up on. <laughs> Dead or alive. Dead or alive. Jesus, we really weren't joking about this being like a treasure island. This is insane! This is like really cool. I've always wanted to come somewhere like this and pretend that I'm like Long John Silver. <laughs> have you not, not want to do that? Is it just me? Yeah, no, of course. It's just me. And so in the secret windswept cove, the desperate race to find Ishigaki's wildlife begins, with Joey taking an early lead and Natsuki losing his mind. Natsuki's getting a bit desperate. He thought this coconut was a, was a crab. <laughs> I found a creature. What you got? It's a hermit crab, but it's, I think it's going to be stuck in there. Uh, there we go. Oh my god. Yeah, look. Oh, pretty. Horn crab. Hermit. Hermit Horn crab. Horn man. Oh, there he oh. is. There he is. Buddy. Look at that. It's not a crab. Oh, baby. It's the bit we've all been waiting for. The bit where I dropped my very expensive camera into the sea. So apparently this cave is full of fish. Like coral reefs, tropical fish. If we get there in one piece, it'll be amazing. Oh, deep. It's beautiful. It's like decently deep. I don't know. I can't Is that a beach inside the cave? Yeah, there's a beach over there. Oh, oh. more private beach. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the cave looks stunning. It's, it looks like it's been dyed, artificially dyed, to look this good. And there's a little secret beach like within the cave that we're going to try and swim to in a minute. Hey, yeah. <laughs> warm, warm, warm. Warm, good condition. Yeah. Woo. With Joey having found his hermit crab, Natsuki and I head underwater in the cave to see who can bag the next creature. And it's not long before we come across dozens of tropical fish innocently swimming around on the seabed. This cave is like the coolest place I've been on this entire trip. This is my favorite location. It's very cool. I find a fish! Uh, I mean, I, I recorded it myself on the GoPro. Hi, yeah. right, Jerry. I filmed it. Natsuki found it. Who, who's the winner for the fish? The blue fish. I mean, Natsuki did find it. So, technically speaking, that point goes to Natsuki. God yeah. damn it! So, I think you should find something else. Fuck's sake. But I did see on the rocks over there, there was a couple of like pretty decently sized crabs. 
So you've, maybe... got, you've already got a crab, though. No, no, not oh, like no, not, not a hermit crab, like an actual crab. Yeah. So if you get that, I could beat a hermit crab. Boss chop type. Boss chop. <laughs> the boss <laughs> chop type. <laughs> and here are the boss chop crabs I'm making. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Incredibly stunning. Really glad we came here. Now Whoa. let's go and find Boss Chop Crab. Boss yeah, chop rats! Get! Oh my nips are oh, freezing. Well, I may have failed yet another challenge with no signs of Boss Chop to be found. But the real challenge of the trip still awaits. Surviving an encounter with Ryotaro. Oh, good morning, everyone. Ignore that. <laughs> now we know what we've had for breakfast. But it is the morning, it is Ishigaki, and it is the final day of Journey Across Japan Escape to Paradise. I don't know why I'm trying to hide it. The jig is up. But we're about to witness Ryotaro emerging out of the airport. It's the bit we've been dreading pretty much all week. And uh, before that, we've got one last challenge to see us through the final day of the trip. Oh my goodness, that's you trying to die. Good money. Present for you. All right, guys, how are you feeling today? All right. Are you excited so, to meet Ryotaro? Yeah. Wow! I am. Yeah. I've never met him. Oh, rich man. Rich man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the final challenge is from Jimmy Hot Dogs. Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy Hot Dogs. <laughs> Let's settle this once and for all. Natsuki and Rotaro battle it out to see who's really Chris's best friend. Ooh. Interesting. Uh, who's my best friend? Natsuki uh, or Rotaro? Which? Mm. What do you think? I'll give up. <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks, Natsuki. Yeah. Okay. Challenge done. We know how much Natsuki cares about me. There you go. I'm going to go and find Rotaro. You get back in there. Terrible friend. Let's go. Come on. So Rotaro's come from Tokyo today. And here he comes. Yo. Good to see you. How are you? Yes, so Ryotaro is something of an expert on Ishigaki. You've been here four times? Yeah, this is my fourth time here. I've been here three times already. What keeps you coming back here? It's the weather. It's the hot, nice, sunny weather, and you ruin it. It's me. I've, I've ruined it. Yes. I am a, like a god. Unfortunately. But that's why we've left today's itinerary yes. up to Ryotaro at yes. his mercy. But before yes. that, let's introduce Ryotaro to what? Joey and reunion with Natsuki. Oh. Jungle, welcome to the jungle! So, what's the plan for today, Ryotaro? We've left it up to you, you're the expert. You know, we own about Takeshi's Castle, right? It's Takeshi's Castle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Biggest so, show of the 80s. Good exactly. TV show. And it's coming back online. Woo! It's about a few months, I guess. Yeah. So, I've made some bookings here in Nishigaki nice. to do some challenges, something similar. So, uh, this is like almost like a Takeshi's Castle on the sea. Takeshi's castle on the sea. <laughs> yeah. Don't people get hurt in that show? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, here we got the points. <laughs> Great. <laughs> and so once again, we find ourselves at sea to compete in Ryotaro's castle. Takeshi's Castle was a game show in which thousands of people willingly injured themselves for entertainment purposes. Let's just hope no one gets injured today or burst their eardrum, causing six weeks of agonizing pain. Wouldn't that be awful? So first game of the day. Right. Yeah is the flying board. This looks like a torture device from the Vietnam War. What is <laughs> this? Okay, so you, God. you need to wear, right? Right. Put, put these shoes on yeah. your feet, right? Yeah. And look at this. Look at this, what's happening. It's got oh. a fire hydrant. It's a fire this, this, that, That's what's happening right here. So the water will be sucked into this and like, and was like oh a jet. Oh my goodness, <laughs> God. Fuck hell and yeah. will fly you <laughs> onto the air. How are you going to balance that? Oh, well, just the feet, the, can, the move feet can move around. It's, oh. it's, it's all just it, core body strength. Oh, exactly, yeah. exactly. Oh, oh no problem. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's all balance like, Yeah, exactly. It's a whole balancing thing. You're basically balancing a fireman's hose exactly. on two feet. Yep. Yeah. Oh, easy. No problem at all. For today's challenges, we have created some teams, right? Two right. teams. Nice. Me and Joey. You and Natsuki. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And, yeah. We're gonna lose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are we, what, what's yeah. your team name? What's the team name? Yeah. Team name. Lead bubbles. Team lead bubbles. Lead bubbles. Lead, it, red or lead? Because I'm going to drop like fucking yeah, lead. Yeah, lead bubbles. Our team is uh, team lightweight. Team lightweight. <laughs> for <laughs> obvious reasons. The first challenge is to see who's able to stay in the air the longest on the flyboard. And first up is the ever cocky Ryotaro. I'm the first, and I'm going to show them what I've got. Ha! Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> One second. One second. 
Piotro is off to a flying start, straight into the sea. Oh, 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 there he is, there he is, oh, there he is. <laughs> he went up like a fucking cruise missile and then went straight back down. <laughs> Unfortunately, after several attempts, Riotero is relatively successful. Oh, Whoa. oh, there he is, Whoa. there he is. Whoa. Whoa. He's doing Six. pretty well. Oh. Uh, Six. Six. Six seconds. That's pretty stylish. Six seconds to beat, but can it be done? Next up is Natsuki. Make Team Lead Balloon proud. Yeah. Just don't fall like a lead balloon. Good luck, Natsuki. Natsuki quickly makes me wish I'd taken out drone insurance with his first and last successful attempt, almost swatting the drone from the sky. Okay, here we go. Oh, 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 one, two, three. Two, three. And even though he couldn't beat Ryotaro, he passes the round with a respectable four seconds of flight time. All right, I'm gonna do Team Lightweight Proud. I'm gonna get sold 10 seconds at least. Watch me. Definitely not <laughs> gonna- The team that wins is the one that has the most seconds combined. Yes. So he's got six, he's got four. four. Yeah. Uh, I gotta get as big as I can to put the pressure on Chris. And unfortunately for me, after Joey's first failed attempts, he suddenly emerges from the water as some sort of prophet of the flyboard. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, come off it. The chosen one himself, Joey makes a mockery of us all by smashing the record with a staggering 24 seconds of flight time. I think we win! I think we won! Bastard. Miracle! God damn it! So it's been like 24 plus 6, six seconds, like 30 seconds. So We might as well just skip to the next round at this point. There's four, no way I'm four, gonna top that. Four. So now Chris needs to fly at least 26 seconds it's to It's not beat going us. to happen. Having never successfully mastered any sport that involves a degree of balance, my hopes aren't overly high for the flyboard. Oh, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh no, wow. His knees are bent. Yeah. His knees need to be straight. One, two, no. 26, 27, 28, 20. Oh my god, he's doing it. I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> Funny boys. Hey, uh, Let's not do that again. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, no, no. No, no. Uh oh. I went like, it's like a rocket. If you fuck it up, you go like push down like that. Yeah. And I just went, oh, I need some water. <laughs> All right, Rossway, what's the second game? Put me out of my misery. It's called Wow Big Thriller, it's this right. one here. Yeah. So it's a board, you hold on. Hold on, and then a jet ski will pull you. And whoever falls, loses. So both of us from each team are going to go on it. Yep. Two, so two. me and Natsuki and you and Jerry. Yep. And if just one of us falls off, lose. Lose. So another time trial. I think I can pull this one off. I've got a good grip, good muscles. Quite heavy. This is called fat. I, I, <laughs> if we don't win this, I'll be disappointed. Don't let me down, Natsuki. Bitter at our previous failures, Natsuki and I vow to hold on no matter what and beat whatever score that Joey and Ryotaro are able to pull off. And this is where things go wrong. Joey and Riotaro hold on for dear life and pull in a respectable 18 seconds before they go tumbling overboard. 18 seconds for Natsuki and I to beat. Despite the ferocious speeds, Natsuki and I successfully beat Joey and Ryotaro without too much effort. 16. Oh, he's holding on 17. 18. Fuck, he's already beaten that time. <laughs> Look at them. Unable to shake us from the jet ski, the driver attempts a risky and somewhat questionable maneuver by almost slamming us into the side of the boat. Oh, fucking hell, that was close. Oh my god, they were about to hit the fucking boat! <laughs> Hitting full throttle, he spins the jet ski, making it essentially impossible to hold on before we're flung off at high speed into the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he did like a barrel roll off the fucking thing! 
All of a sudden, I feel a piercing pain in my right ear, as if a literal knife has just gone through my eardrum. It turns out the sheer pressure of the seawater blasting through my ear has perforated the eardrum, causing me to go deaf and feel nauseous, dizzy and disorientated. Let's just say it's a swift end to Ryotaro's bloody castle. The water like went straight into my ear. Right, the water wait, must, wait, it must have been like 20 miles, 30 miles an hour or something. Oh, first oh crash. Oh my god, that's the most pain I've been in a long, long time. A broken shoulder. I lost my eardrum, <laughs> we won. Yeah. Wow, well, yeah. Well, oh. Yeah, took, yeah, took cut the rust So, we're going to have to settle who's my yeah. best friend yeah. with a battle to the death. Right. With swords. With swords? Yeah, <laughs> on a beach. Right now. Oh! Go fuck yourself! Suffering, I can't hear out my right ear still. I, You're a dickhead. I don't know, I'm a winner? Yeah. I, I basically went to a hospital earlier with Riotro to check that my eardrum wasn't perforated because I can't hear out of it at all. It turns out it might be perforated. We don't know. There wasn't a doctor there that could tell. <laughs> this is the closest Riotro has come to killing me. Uh, so maybe that's Riotro's highlight. But it has been quite yeah. the journey over the course of the last week, a real adventure. And I have to say a big thank you to you guys for joining us. And I will sing us out with the Journey Across Japan theme tune one last time. Ready? <laughs> Going to hospital again. 
Three, two, one. Please. Please. Ah! Ah! Shit. 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 This isn't gonna last. I, I can't skateboard, I can't roll a gate. I can't roll a gate. Roll a gate, roll a gate. Roll a gate. Come on. One. Wow. Jesus fucking Christ, what was that? Ah!